three, two, one. Begin sequence story. The launch pads of Complex 39 are where the journey to space begins. This is where months of preparation come down to a final few hours. The launch countdown. The count starts formally about two and a half days before the moment of liftoff. While countdown activities are controlled from the firing room in the launch control center, workers at the pad complete their final tasks to prepare the shuttle for its journey. The launch pad structures, designed and built by Kennedy Space Center engineers, provide workers access to the shuttle while protecting it from contamination and damaging weather. A tall stationary tower called the fixed surface structure has three movable surface arms, an access arm for crew, and two vent arms which route propellant gases away from the vehicle. Atop the fixed surface structure is the lightning mast, which protects the tower and the shuttle from lightning strikes. The rotating service structure provides protected access to all the shuttle's critical points. It also has a clean room, which allows installation and work on the payload inside. An inflatable seal closes the gap between the shuttle and the structure, allowing the payload bay doors to be open without risk of exposing the payload to dust and dirt contamination. Approximately 12 hours before launch, the rotating service structure is pulled away, revealing the shuttle as the countdown reaches its final phase. Six hours before liftoff, all but a handful of workers leave the pad as extremely cold liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen are loaded into the external tank through an intricate system of pipes and valves. As the interior propellant tanks fill, some of the propellant turns to gas and must be released safely. A vent hood called the beanie cap collects the oxygen vapors, routing them away from the tip of the tank to prevent the buildup of ice. Potentially explosive hydrogen gas is also routed away from the tower to a flare stack where it can safely burn off. Three hours before launch, the astronauts enter the orbiter, assisted by the closeout crew. If an emergency arises, the astronauts and closeout crew can escape to safety by way of baskets which descend down slide wires. <coughs> Nine minutes before liftoff, the countdown is held for a final assessment of launch readiness. The launch director polls the team, and a final go for launch is issued. The countdown resumes. Computers now control the final sequence of pre-launch checks and procedures. In the final minutes, the crew access arm and beanie cap swing away. The shuttle generates acoustic energy, which is capable of damaging the orbiter. So Kennedy Space Center's engineers devised a sound suppression system, which uses water for noise control. Just before ignition, 300,000 gallons of water are injected into the engine exhaust to muffle the sound and protect the area from rocket flames. Sparklers ignite under the main engines to ensure that no hydrogen vapors are present. Main engines fire. Six seconds left until liftoff. Still attached to the platform by eight bolts with explosive nuts, the shuttle bends forward and then back. Umbilical systems and the hold down bolts must remain attached until the final moment, just in case there is an engine cutoff which aborts the launch. Simultaneously, the solid rocket boosters are ignited, the eight explosive nuts detonate, and the umbilical connections release. The space shuttle lifts away from Complex 39 on another mission to explore and develop the frontier of space.